Well, hello everyone, this is Tam, and today I'm gonna tell you or show you how to update the firmware on this DJI Ronin S. If you've been worried about updating firmware before, don't worry, DJI made it real, real easy. Um, all you have to do is take some precautionary measures like charging up the battery, setting up the gimbal, um, making sure you download the latest DJI Pro Assistant. After you installed it, then all you do is connect with the standard C-type cable. This cable here, let me zoom in. So you connect with the standard C cable here and to your USB computer with the included cord with the DJI Ronin. If not, you can probably just get the cord anywhere else. Um, I do recommend using the DJI cord just in case any something goes wrong because they're gonna blame you on any failures, okay? And then download either a version uh, for Windows or for Mac, plug it in, and um, I'll take you to the to the screenshot right now. Let's take a look how we're updating the firmware. So I'll take you here uh, step by step. Head on to the DJI.com website to the download section. Once you downloaded it, um, go ahead and run it. Install the file. Um, create desktop uh, shortcuts if you'd like. Installs pretty quick. It's not a big heavy file. All right, so we're now we're ready to plug it in. Use the Type-C cable supplied again. And my unit is off, but this software will still uh, detect the Ronin. So here it is, it showed up right here on the screen. click on it and it'll display the the list of available firmwares so we're on this firmware right here from last year and this is about uh, like a month or two before I bought the unit so we're gonna go to the latest version the v1.8.0.70 I'm gonna click upgrade computer is connected to the internet device is actually powered on okay so to clarify from DJI support when they say device is powered on they mean that the grip is on not the gimbal so they say to update the firmware when the grip is on and the gimbal is off without mounting the camera okay so um, how I'm doing this here the gimbal portion is off uh, but the grip is on basically you see those green lights on the grip and then we're just gonna go ahead and click uh, start the update Okay, now we hear some disconnect sounds in the background. It says updating. Something disconnected again. Reconnected again. These things are always a bit, these things always make me a bit nervous, of course. moment of silence so you can see here we're upgrading to the latest version v1.8.0.70 seems to be going okay all right comment below if this makes you nervous so once again make sure that the gimbal is off but the grip is on i guess if the grip was off you would not even be able to detect it in this app um, so yeah it looks like where update is complete what do we click here we click back click anything here all right well let's click back and right now when we go back to the versions we should be all the way on the top. All right, so here we go. We're at the latest version from March 14th. All right, so if you read the release notes, um, yeah, I don't know how it works here in this. Uh, I was gonna say the DJI apps are actually really polished here, but 
I've installed this app on two uh, PCs. There's no way to close these uh, release notes. It just kind of shows like this. Uh, maybe it's optimized for uh, Mac. I don't know. Any case, it uh, looks like the firmware was uh, successful. We can go back here. Just check once again. Um, yeah, um, I can just, uh, yeah, it looks all good. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have trouble with the firmware. Um, I'll help you out. I'm, uh, but if you're on a Mac, yeah, I don't really know Mac. I really know PCs very well. So, yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, um, please subscribe, rate, and share.